was his work my father cared about. His research. He tried to save his work. I tried to save him. Hello there, Sir from 17 once again, introducing you to my Gears of War 3 Insane Difficulty video walkthrough. This is Act 2, Chapter 5, the second part of Hijack. And this is it, people. This is the single hardest moment of this act. Because what's going to happen is this barge is going to circle this platform, firing two cannons at you. Each of the cannons, if they land anywhere near you, are just like the Gunker's uh, big, you know, cum blast. They will kill you instantly. They will instantly kill you. It isn't fair, it isn't cool, and there isn't any safe place to be. The best thing to do is to try and put that middle hut between you and the siege base at all times. If you can put the hut between you and it, it will generally hit that with its missiles and not you. Where this becomes difficult is every time it stops, it releases two of the Theron guards, and you need to kill them as quickly as possible. You need to hope your team prove to be useful and you have a little bit of luck, you need to hope that your torque bow shots are on target and that you don't get cheesed because at any moment you could feasibly die because of that goddamn airship and this lasts for about five minutes and potentially any second you could be killed by that ship if it decides to do it, if it di decides to splash damage you and it's terrifying and I did not like this at all, I must have died maybe 10-15 times got to a point where I was literally thinking why did this why did they put this bullshit in the game this is fucking stupid there's no place where you're safe and uh, I did try a, a whole bunch of methods be careful when you move towards the center you'll notice where see where that just went off and it killed Dom it didn't hurt me because I had the the concrete pillar in front of me but if I would have been either side of it it would have probably killed me as well it has ridiculous range I can't even get across to you if you've not played this part how stupid this is and I actually tried the middle area with the pillars just going pillar to pillar as it was going around as a strategy and it worked really well but then just before it was landing up it fired one barrage and just killed me instantly and I, and I wasted four minutes so this is oh, it's, it's like right now I'm, I'm scared for myself because I know that thing could kill me now because I'm you can't get in a good piece of cover. There doesn't seem to be a way to do this, a perfect way, aside from hoping it doesn't fire anywhere near you. It's just it's just horrific. It, re it really is. And the strategy that I originally used on Hardcore that I, th I thought would work is I went up against cover and I circled on the outer edge of this region, going cover to cover with the barge. And when it pulled up, I ran underneath it and as the Therons were coming down, I hit them with the Retro Lancer and stunned them both and killed them. On insane though, they take too much damage and you can't kill them, they just punch you. And uh, yeah, this is it, this is the best way I found to do it guys, so you need to accept you're going to die a few times on this bit, even if you don't struggle, you'll still die a few times because that ship just, it one shot kills you. And it and you can't kill its its turrets, I fired at them with a torque bow, they don't seem to do shit, you can't kill the people on the cannons even though they don't seem to do anything. You can't do a damn thing. It's just a really, really bad balance of, of enemy, you know, enemy artillery. It's just horrific. And you, you need the devil's luck to get past. So just always try and put something between you and the thing and just pray you don't get clipped. Like right now, I'm out in the open. I could easily get tagged, but I've got to play like that because I know that thing's circling behind me, so I need to move. I mean, look at that. It was nowhere near me and it nearly... One, took one third of my life. It's horrific. And right now I'm like, no, no, don't die, don't die, God, don't die. I'm in cover. It's turning to my left. I need to move. I need to kill them guys and move forward. It's there. Quick, move. I need to move. And I'm just right now. I'm kind of praying. I'm kind of like, if I die, I die. What can I do? And it's just landed. So right now you don't get a checkpoint. I don't think. But the only thing that can hurt you is the guys on the turret and the guys with the talk bow. So. I was shitting my pants right now, I was like, I can't die, I've done all that hard work, and I came over to this, and it's pretty good cover, the only problem is, uh, Marcus is really fat, he's like a giant fridge, and um, one talk boy is all it takes to ruin your day, and I really did not want to move forward, I was super cowardly here, I was sitting back and hoping my team did all the work, and um, I really didn't want to ruin it, because I didn't want to do it all over again, because it's not fun guys it's really not fun this is one of those bits where 
it, I got super down when I was trying to do it because it just got to the point where it was fucking ridiculous. But just keep picking these guys off. Don't push forward until you are absolutely sure it's clear because you do not want to fail when you're here. This is like falling like five yards from the finish line. You don't want to do it. And that guy there has a turret. The best way to hit him is if you manoeuvre Marcus to the left. I mean, look at that. That will kill you instantly. That like, You do not want to fuck with it. I, mo I manoeuvred him a little bit and he pokes his shoulder around and he there you go. That way he doesn't fire at you and you can shoot him. And I think that is the last person down. You'll notice I do not want to get on this boat. I don't want to go anywhere near it. This ship, sorry, or siege barge as they're called. Because I'm so afraid one Theron's going to pop up and kill me. And there hasn't been a checkpoint so I move forward. I can hear him but I think he's down. I just pointed at him then, so he's definitely down. I move to cover, and I think I just balls to the wall, jump on. Yeah, I do. Yeah, he's the last one. That's the end of it. Once you hit him, you've done it. But that is one of the hardest parts of the game. I hope you don't struggle with it. I hope you, you get through without any problems, but be warned, it sucks if you don't. Thanks for watching, and you take care now.